so you let them see the real big bang. I, I'm not good at music, I'm not good at dancing. This is my expression of art, and this is the way I can express that feeling of artistic pride within myself. So again, he knows that there's no way I can My name is Kalani, uh, I go by Poi Dog, Guru Poi in the Dog Brothers system. Right now we're working, uh, fighting out of the Salty Chamber. This seminar is a uh, kind of intro to real contact stick fighting 101. And he wants to defend his brain at all costs. Let him see the big one. And you come down and you take Predominantly the Dog Brothers martial arts, while it covers the, the, it encompasses the totality of Filipino martial arts, especially in terms of the gathering, <clears throat> we focus on the treating the stick as a stick, not as a blade. And the differences in the game that it presents um, in terms of power becomes far more important, uh, whereas in a blade engagement, speed and accuracy are probably the primary uh, factors. But with sticks, if you don't have power, you don't have anything. And that's what this drill is really kind of developing out of the fighters. What makes the Dog Brothers so special uh, is the terms of willing to test it against completely resisting opponents. What makes uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so good, what makes Judo good is the resisting opponents. Um, and the gathering has always been the crucible where we test the theory <clears throat> in sort of the laboratory to see if it works. Can I really hit a guy in the wrist and cause him to drop his stick? Not always. Sometimes you hit a guy in the head, he doesn't do the expected thing and fall down and moan about how powerful you are. Sometimes he has the audacity to hit you back. I think that more than anything is what kind of sets the Dog Brothers in a very unique position is that they've taken the theory of the Filipino martial arts as it applies to the stick and put it on the line to test the theory. One of the first things most Filipino martial arts will teach are the high walls. One. Uh, for me, it's always a big thing. Growing up, I, I'm half Filipino you know, on my mother's side. And you know, to always hear about the Filipino martial arts and finally to be able to, uh, when I discovered them and was able to start training in them, for me, it was kind of the first step outside of just the food of really getting to embrace my culture and kind of research it and see what uh, the, the many, many facets of, of Filipino culture. And this was kind of my bridgeway into that, you know. I would say embrace your heritage. Uh, for a long time, you know, in Hawaii, uh, where I grew up, and I've, I've heard it's very similar in the Philippines, and it, you, you see it somewhat in the United States, is what's foreign is automatically cooler than what is kind of homegrown. <clears throat> Forget about that mentality and at least explore it, see the variety of what it has to offer. In my opinion, and again, this is solely my opinion, I think the Filipino martial arts are truly an all-encompassing. It, it has elements for everything, and it is the premier weapons-based system in the world. But there's such a rich and beautiful culture of combat, um, both with aggression and without it, in terms of just appreciating the art for the art. I, I'm not good at music, I'm not good at dancing. This is my expression of art, and this is the way I can express that feeling of artistic pride within myself. That little shot, right? A little bit of chin music. We teach out good. of Valley Martial Arts Center. Um, it, we teach it on, uh, Nick teaches the Monday night class, I teach the Thursday night class, and the third instructor, Brian Algao, teaches on Wednesday nights. You do the bolo, roll that right shoulder forward. Your first class is free to see if you like Kali, if you see if you like the way we instruct. Um, it's Good. actually one, it's one of the best values Good, around for martial arts training. Uh, they have relatively low monthly dues, and you have a wide variety of uh, classes to, to choose from. Lazy arm, I get brain, right?